Hello and welcome to day 10 of the 30 day challenge. We're a third of the way there. I just changed to my old college t-shirt just so it looks like I'm not wearing the same shirt I did as yesterday. And it got me thinking like, man, I learned so much in the last 10 days. If I put in that much effort and did it for four years straight, four times 365 days, I'd be like pretty smart right now. All right, let's get back to today's topic, which is what's popularly known as a Luma Fade Transition. Now, I say that because we're not actually going to use a Luma Transition effect. What we're actually gonna use is a gradient wipe effect, which is a little bit more smoother. For this tutorial, again, find two clips. Uh, one clip that you wanna apply the transition to should be a little bit more cleaner. Think like silhouettes, like this clip that I chose here. And the other clip could be something more epic, like this one. Both clips are using yesterday's rotoscoping tutorial, so also feel free to check that out. Alright, let's go ahead and get Premiere started. Import the two clips you found. Create a sequence. My sequence is going to be 1080p at 24 frames a second. Press OK. Drag the clips in. For the clip that you want to put the transition on, you want to adjust the speed duration so that you have it at what you want and then right click and press nest. Once you do that, go under effects and look for gradient wipe. Drag the effect onto the clip and let's set two keyframes. One for the beginning and one for the end. The first keyframe should be set to 100% and the second keyframe, let's leave it at zero. And now you can see you already have a pretty cool effect. What we do notice is that the stars are inside the person and we want to invert that. So go ahead and click invert gradient. And now let's adjust the clip so you have a full transition. You can add a cross dissolve to the nested clip and a cross dissolve to the bottom clip. And that will make it look a little bit smoother. There you go. That's the gradient wipe slash lumen fade transition. Looks pretty good already. Another thing that you could always add is up the transition smoothness. That'll give it a little bit of feathering and this is the final output from what I did. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you guys again for day 11 where I'm going to get a little crazy with transitions by using alpha channels, which is basically the thing that you could use for ink splatter transitions, flame transitions, flash shadow transitions, any type of transition. So it's a pretty useful skill to learn and I'm excited to both learn it and share it with you tomorrow.